Chapter 10 Now it happened, when Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, heard how Joshua had taken Ai, and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, as one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai, and all the men of it were mighty. Therefore Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent to Hoham, king of Hebron, and to Piram, king of Jarmuth, and to Japhia, king of Lachish, and to Deber, king of Eglon, saying, Come up to me and help me, and let us strike Gibeon, for it has made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped against Gibeon and made war against it. The men of Gibeon sent to Joshua to the camp to Gilgal, saying, Don't slack your hand from your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us, for all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the hill country are gathered together against us. So Joshua went up from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him and all the mighty men of valor. The Lord said to Joshua, Don't fear them, for I have delivered them into your hands. Therefore shall not a man of them stand before you. Joshua therefore came on them suddenly, for he went up from Gilgal all the night. The Lord confused them before Israel, and he killed them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them by the way of the ascent of Beth Horon, and struck them to Asaka and to Makeda. It happened, as they fled from before Israel, while they were at the descent of Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from the sky on them to Asaka, and they died. And there were more who died with the hailstones than they whom the children of Israel killed with the sword. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand still on Gibeon, you, moon, in the valley of Ajalon. The sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the nation had avenged themselves of their enemies. Isn't this written in the book of Jashar? The sun stayed in the midst of the sky, and didn't hurry to go down about a whole day. There was no day like that before it, or after it, that the Lord listened to the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Joshua returned, and all Israel with him to the camp to Gilgal. These five kings fled, and hid themselves in the cave at Makeda. It was told Joshua, saying, The five kings are found hidden in a cave at Makeda. Joshua said, Roll great stones to the mouth of the cave, and set men by it to keep them. But don't stay, pursue after your enemies, and strike the hindmost of them. Don't allow them to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God has delivered them into your hand. It happened when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of killing them with a very great slaughter until they were consumed, and the remnant which remained of them had entered into the fortified cities, that all the people returned to the camp to Joshua and Makeda in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. Then Joshua said, Open the mouth of the cave and bring forth those five kings to me out of the cave. They did so, and brought forth the five kings to him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon. It happened, when they brought forth those kings to Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said to the chiefs of the men of war who went with him, Come near, put your feet on the necks of these kings. They came near and put their feet on the necks of them. Joshua said to them, Don't be afraid, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom you fight. Afterward Joshua struck them and put them to death, and hanged them on five trees, and they were hanging on the trees until the evening. It happened at the time of the going down of the sun that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the trees and cast them into the cave in which they had hidden themselves, and laid great stones on the mouth of the cave to this very day. Joshua took Makeda on that day, and struck it with the edge of the sword, 
and the king of it, he utterly destroyed them and all the souls who were therein. He left none remaining, and he did to the king of Makeda as he had done to the king of Jericho. Joshua passed from Makeda and all Israel with him to Libna, and fought against Libna, and the Lord delivered it also and the king of it into the hand of Israel, and he struck it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls who were therein, he left none remaining in it, and he did to the king of it as he had done to the king of Jericho. Joshua passed from Libna and all Israel with him to Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel. And he took it on the second day, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls who were therein, according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam king of Geser came up to help Lachish, and Joshua struck him and his people, until he had left him none remaining. Joshua passed from Lachish and all Israel with him to Eglon, and they encamped against it and fought against it, and they took it on that day and struck it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls who were therein he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. Joshua went up from Eglon and all Israel with him to Hebron, and they fought against it, and they took it, and struck it with the edge of the sword and the king of it, and all the cities of it, and all the souls who were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon, but he utterly destroyed it, and all the souls who were therein. Joshua returned, and all Israel with him to Debir, and fought against it, and he took it, and the king of it, and all the cities of it, and they struck them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls who were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Debir, and to the king of it, as he had also done to Libna and the king of it. So Joshua struck all the land, the hill country, and the south, and the lowland, and the slopes, and all their kings. He left none remaining, but he utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord the God of Israel commanded. Joshua struck them from Kadesh Barnea, even to Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even to Gibeon. All these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord, the God of Israel, fought for Israel. Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, to the camp to Gilgal.